Hey, hi, and hello. So we are ready to make our first view in our new website app. It will be a very simple view, but I what I want to do is I, I want to start off something pretty. I want to start with a bootstrap temp template. And the reason why I'm starting with something so pretty so quickly, so early, is because, I don't know, to me, the problem with my first steps with programming was the fact that I was bouncing off console to console to console, uh, doing a lot of stuff um, using only just this black screen with white text on it. And what I wanted to see is actual thing, actual website or actual program that I'm building, something that I'm used to. So, um, and I think Django was this place that helped me to move from, from being uh, kind of sick of just constant learning um, programming with, with black screen. And, and I, it, it helped me to build something that I could see that is very quickly devel developing. So anyway, uh, let's go to this website here. Um, I'll just, just Google it. Bootstrap templates. <laughs> Start bootstrap. So bootstrap is this website where there's like a bunch of people working on very good templates, not only websites, but also like components for websites. So they're very, very good guys uh, building something that is supposed to be uh, built correctly. We're not like, if you want to be a Django developer, you don't have to know HTML that well. You shouldn't waste time learning something that is relatively simple. And there are people who are working on very good templates for you. All you need to know is how to change what they build for you. I think this is the, the, the approach here. And that should be the approach here because learning how to use Django and databases and all the other tech that you need to learn to be a, a, a competitive programmer, that takes a lot of time. And if you want to add building websites from scratch, that would be just, uh, just too much. So anyway, the, here are some templates. So you can buy some of them f if you see pro in here, but there are some free ones as well. And you can see there is a difference in downloads as well. 1,845,000, that's a lot of downloads. Uh, this is actually very interesting. I would like to put my hands on this one at some point. I'm gonna go with this because we're building portfolio and it says portfolio in here. And I like this design, it's kind of goofy. Um, of course, you can change everything. You can you can look at this and say, I like this frame, but all the colors or all the pictures, font, everything, I will change. I will flip it like a house. So basically, you like the frame, you like, yeah, I like this kind of way of showing uh, tiles. You have a portfolio bit here. Um, yeah, no, I like this, um, but I'm going to go with the goofy uh, pictures as well. So I'm going to just, I'm, I'm, I'm going to stick to this design. Uh, so just click on free download. So choose whatever you want. I'm going to go with this one. And if you're not very comfortable with like veering, veering off the course, you want to stick to what I'm doing, exactly what I'm doing. That's fine. It's very good for first steps because you don't want to get lost somewhere. I'm going to talk about something that doesn't exist in your project and you might get lost. So if you are very, very, uh, you know, if you're a beginner at the very start, stick to what I'm doing. So download this bootstrap template and I'm going to open it here uh, and in download. So I, uh, it's a zip file that you download. And inside of that zip file, you have a index HTML file and a couple of static files around it. And actually, if I just close this and I close this, so it's not a website, not online anyway, I open my local file. You see it's in on my on my Mac and it's working fine. So basically it's it's a very simple website that is taking all the CSS and JavaScript and all the you know static like images from local machine. Everything is in one package, everything is in one zip. So you don't need to look around for different parts, it's all in one place. And it works very nice. See JavaScript works as well. This nice sliding um effect is caused by uh, usage of javascript so yeah so everything is in here all we need to do now is kind of somehow inject it into our django um project which is not that hard so all you need to do is do two things at least for now we're gonna 
create a folder here, new directory, and I'll call it static. And call it static exactly because this is what we want to keep calling it. And you'll see in the future in, in, in just a couple of minutes why. Uh, so that's our static. And that's where and that's where our static files will go. So I'll just select all the static files and drag and drop it to static. It's gonna ask me search for references, no, and don't open in editor because there's a lot of files there. So just be careful if you're if you're using PyCharm. PyCharm would like to da, 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 download folder. Yes, you can. It's a very safe computer, I have to say. It's always asking me for permission. Okie doke. And now I'm gonna just uh, move this index file to templates. So remember, templates. Oh, and it's asking me if I want to add it to Git. Well, it doesn't matter. If I if I do it now, I do it now. If I do it later, I'll do it later before committing. Templates is where we keep our HTML files. Static is where we keep all the static files, which is JavaScript, CSS, and some pictures uh, that you might be using. Okie doke. So that's in there. Now, how do we get in this? Um, okay, I'm going to call it base. Um, in a moment, you'll see how, why. Uh, let me just refactor it. So you have to right click, um, refactor, rename, and just change it to base. And you'll see in a second why it's base. Some of you know Django, so you know why I'm going, I'm going with this, with this name. But okay, I think it's a good moment to take a break uh, because the next step will be creating a Django view, which I think deserves its own video. So thanks for watching and see you in the next video. Bye.